Currently, there are around 10,000 known species of bird on Earth, all of which have unique adaptations and behaviors depending on the climate and food sources available where they live. It seems that birds can be virtually any and every shape, color, and size imaginable. So get your binoculars ready, because it's time to take a look at the 15 most unique and exotic birds. Number 15. Lilac-Breasted Roller Native to regions across Africa, from the coast of the Red Sea and Eritrea all the way to the southern shores of South Africa, the lilac-breasted roller is an incredible-looking and sounding species of bird. Growing to around 15 inches or about 38 centimeters long, with a wingspan of up to 23 inches, they're easily identifiable by their pastel-like lilac, green, blue, and olive coloration. Usually living in open woodlands and savannas, they spend most of their time perched atop any vantage points they can find, whether it be trees, poles, or large rocks, and scour the surrounding landscapes or any sign of potential prey. Their diet is made up of mainly insects, lizards, scorpions, and snails, and once they've spotted something, they'll plot their attack. Surprisingly, with their cute appearance, they're actually regarded as a fairly aggressive species, and while they'll swoop in on small insects and gulp them down, their approach with larger targets is very different. They'll instead carry it in their beak back to a perch and proceed to smash it against a rock or solid part of a tree until it's dismembered enough that it can easily be eaten. Number 14. Royal Flycatcher Native to forested regions across Central and South America, there are actually four different types of royal flycatcher, each of which is just as spectacular and eye-catching as the rest. The ones that are most commonly seen are the Amazonian royal flycatcher, and they're native to habitats throughout the Amazonian basis, including countries such as Bolivia, Brazil, Peru, Ecuador, and Colombia. Typically growing to around 5.9 inches long, they're extremely light and weigh no more than a half an ounce. At first, you may look at one of these birds and think there's nothing too remarkable about their dark brown and yellowish feathers, but if you look closer at their heads, you'll see a red streak that can open up and reveal a glorious red and orange-colored fan-shaped crest. Other royal flycatcher species look fairly similar, although with different colors on their crests, and the main purpose of this elaborate display of feathers is to attract a mate. There's also suspicion, however, that it may be a clever adaptation that helps them to hunt. As insectivores, the birds need to consume a large number of insects each day to keep their energy levels up, and it's thought possible that the colorful crest can attract bugs by tricking them to thinking it's a flower. And once they get close enough, the bird can simply catch them out of the air in front of themselves. Number 13. Golden Pheasant Pheasants are very popular game birds in countries around the world, but what you might not be aware of is that there's actually around 50 different distinct species. Of them all, by far the most stunning is the golden pheasant, which is also sometimes known as the rainbow pheasant or the Chinese pheasant, and it's a type that originated in western China. You can, however, see them all around the world now, because farmers and collectors have helped establish populations in countries across Europe, the Americas, and in Australia. Golden pheasants grow to around 41 inches in length, and more than two-thirds of that measurement is made up of the tail. The hens are a dull mottled brown color, but the males couldn't be more different. With elaborate displays of color all over their bodies, they have a golden yellow crest with splatterings of red and the combinations of yellow, red, blue, orange, and cinnamon across the rest. With yellow legs and bills, there's no surprise that they were historically a prized species and remain highly valued to this day. The chances of seeing a true golden pheasant are, however, remote because they're often interbred with similar-looking Lady Amherst pheasants. But either way, they're a true sight to behold, particularly as they're scouring the ground for insects. Number 12. Red-Crested Turaco The red-crested turaco is an incredible species that's native to western Angola in Africa, and it's so popular within the country that it's the official national bird. Living exclusively in forested regions, they grow to around 20 inches long and develop large, bulbous bodies that are covered in feathers of various shades of green, along with white faces, yellow beaks, and a bright red crest. Weighing up to 11 ounces, or around 325 grams, they're a highly social species, and while you'll normally see them in pairs, it's not uncommon to see large flocks of them with as many as 30 individuals closely huddled together. They build temporary nests in the tree canopy where they lay their eggs, and both parents will take on the responsibilities for incubation until the young are ready to fly by themselves around five weeks after hatching. 
Despite their vivid colors, which are present from birth, they're masters of disguise, with their hues helping them to blend in perfectly with the colorful forest surroundings, and even their calls are said to mimic those of a jungle monkey. As a frugivorous species, which means they eat raw fruit or the fruit-like produce of plants, they mainly spend their time perched in trees to avoid danger, and will only normally fly down to ground level to eat or drink. Number 11. Stork-billed Kingfisher There are 87 known species of kingfishers in the world, which are found on every continent apart from Antarctica. But perhaps the most surprising of all is the stork-billed kingfisher, which is native to regions throughout Asia between India and Indonesia. Even within this range, it too had 13 subspecies, each of which has adapted to the particular environments where they live. As far as kingfishers go, it's a relatively large species that can grow to around 14 inches long. And when they reach adulthood, they take on a fairly typical coloration, whereby they have green backs, blue wings and tails, and olive brown heads. What is unusual, though, are their bills, which are bright red and grow much longer than you'd normally expect. And this is to allow them to reach further into restricted spaces to catch their prey. Stork-billed kingfishers tend to live in wetland areas or woodlands alongside rivers, lakes, and coastlines, and they'll normally take a perch that gives them a good view of the surrounding area, and simply wait until they spot their favorite prey of fish, frogs, crabs, rodents, or small birds. When it comes to building their nests, they position them in places that have natural protection, such as in riverbanks or decaying tree trunks. But no matter how safe their eggs may be, stork-billed kingfishers are extremely territorial to the point where they won't think twice about chasing off birds of prey that are much larger than them, like eagles. Number 10. Splendid Fairy Wren The amazingly named Splendid Fairy Wren is a species of bird that's found across Australia. It's one of 11 species of fairy wrens, but with its bright blue coloring all over, it's the most stunning of them all. Growing to around five and a half inches long, the blue plumage becomes bolder and more vivid when the males are ready to breed, and it's used to attract a mate. When the season is over, their feathers will revert to a dark brown color, which makes them less easy to spot and therefore more able to evade predators. They live in a variety of habitats, from forests to dry scrublands, but will usually only stick to areas where there's plenty of vegetation to give them a safe place to hide. These are also the best places to find insects, which are their main food source, along with seeds and nuts. While splendid fairy wrens have a relatively large distribution, and they're currently classified as being at least concerned of extinction, there are increasing fears for their long-term viability, because they're particularly susceptible to human activity. Development of their natural habitats has increased in recent years, and instead of adapting to the new conditions, they fly away in search of places that more resemble what they're familiar with. So as long as this is possible, then the species will survive. But some researchers fear their numbers may soon start to plummet to worrying levels. Number 9. Victoria Crowned Pigeon The only place in the world where Victoria Crowned Pigeons live natively in the wild is the island of New Guinea, where they're one of several species of ground-dwelling pigeons. Living in forested regions and named after Queen Victoria, they are a spectacular species that have a deep blue-gray color, with purple chests, white-tipped wings, a black mask, and a wondrous hair-like crown. They are surprisingly large, growing to, on average, a length of up to 30 inches, but some individuals can significantly exceed this. Generally considered to be the largest species of pigeon still present on Earth, they also build up a huge bulk and can weigh as much as 7.5 pounds or about 3.5 kilos. One of the reasons why they've been able to evolve like this is because there aren't many natural predators on the island, and so they can move around in search of figs, fruits, seeds, and invertebrates to eat. Even though they are ground-dwelling, this doesn't mean that they aren't able to fly and will shoot up into the trees if they feel under threat in any way. Because of their size, Victoria crowned pigeons engage in a curious interspecies competitive display, whereby their strength is used to impress potential mates. To establish dominance, the males will puff up their chests and raise their wings to almost strike their opponent, before dashing at each other and colliding head on. Number 8. Resplendent Quetzal The resplendent quetzal is a particularly stunning species of bird that can be found in Central America, from the southern states of Mexico to Panama. As the national bird of Guatemala, and even the namesake of the country's currency, these birds have been an important part of Mesoamerican culture for many centuries. 
The largest species of their type, their bodies can grow to around 16 inches long, and then on top of that, their magnificent tail streamers can be a further 40 inches. They're mainly green, but their feathers possess iridescent qualities, which means that they can appear virtually any color you can think of, and this proves invaluable to their ability to hide from predators. As with other quetzals, they have extremely thin and delicate skin, which is why their plumage grows so thick. But this also means that they're fairly poor flyers, so are more commonly seen perching in trees. They mainly live in cloud forests, where their diet is made up of almost entirely of fruit, but they'll also eat insects, frogs, and lizards to provide certain nutrients. Resplendent quetzals are notoriously difficult to keep in captivity, to the point where there's only one place in the world where it's actually been possible, and this is what historically has led them to being synonymous with freedom. They were also for a long time seen as one of the most holy creatures in nature by cultures in the Americas, and as a result it used to be a crime to kill or even injure one intentionally. Number 7. Long-Tailed Widow Bird The almost unreal-looking long-tailed widow bird is a species native to countries in the southern half of Africa, such as Angola, Kenya, Lesotho, Swaziland, Zambia, and South Africa. They're usually found in swampy grasslands, where you'll find a couple of males alongside a large number of females, and in the habitats where they live, they're one of the most prevalent species. They have for a long time been of particular interest to evolutionary researchers because they show an extreme level of sexual dimorphism. The females are tawny or black in color and look similar to many other birds, but it's the males that are completely black and grow enormous tail feathers that can be up to 20 inches long and make up more than two-thirds of their total length. The reason for the interest is that these long tails are almost completely impractical for flight, and that means they're unable to fly at all when it's raining. Those with the longest tails do, however, get their first choice of breeding partners, and this is why the genetics behind such long tail growth are passed on from generation to generation. Number 6. Painted Bunting when you see a static image of this next species of bird, the painted bunting, it's easy to think that someone has used brushes and watercolors to add them on top of a countryside scene, but this is actually their true coloration. They are native to North America, where they're usually found in woodlands, although they're also known to occasionally venture into suburban areas and well-maintained gardens. If you live in their range and haven't ever seen one before, that's because they're extremely shy birds and will usually hide at any sign of nearby movement. Growing to around five and a half inches long, they're also a relatively small bird that makes it even easier for them to conceal themselves within foliage. But when they're perched out in the open though, there's no mistaking one. With a glorious blend of dark blue, green, and red feathers, they were also once an extremely popular species to keep as pets in cages, but in order to try to protect them, it's now illegal to capture or hold them. Number five, Rainbow Lorikeet. There are thought to be around 400 species of parrot around the world, and they are birds that are known for their vivid colors. The most colorful of all, though, is the rainbow lorikeet, which is a species that's native to Australia. With habitats that stretch along the eastern coastline across Queensland and South Australia, they're normally found in rainforests, woodland regions, and coastal forests. Described as being a medium-sized parrot, they grow to around 12 inches long and can weigh as much as 5.5 ounces. Officially, there are two subspecies that exhibit slightly different colors, but the main coloration of rainbow lorikeets are deep blue heads, green collars, green wings, backs and tails, an orange chest, a blue belly, and red underwings. With a diet made up of mainly fruit, pollen, and nectar, they've got an unusually long tongue that allows them to reach deep within plants to retrieve what they need, and will often visit ornamental gardens where they become used to the presence of humans and can be fed by hand. Normally, you won't see a rainbow lorikeet on its own, and instead they usually travel in breeding pairs that stay loyal to each other for their entire lives. Number 4. Horned Sungum Throughout the Americas, there are an estimated 360 species of hummingbirds, but one of the more unusual of them is the horned sungum. They're native to Bolivia, Brazil, and Suriname, and are actually the only species of bird within their genus because of some substantial differences from others. Staying predominantly to savanna-like regions and avoiding dense forests, they grow to around five inches long and weigh just a tenth of an ounce. They have a red, blue, white, green, black, and brown coloration, with the most vivid hues being found in their crests that almost look like feathery horns, and the remainder of their bodies tend to be white, green, and black. 
As with other hummingbirds, their light weight allows them to move with an incredible level of precision in the air so that they can move in close to flowers to drink their nectar. The way that their wings flap so furiously means that they need to consume large quantities of sugar each day to simply provide them with enough energy. But beyond this, very little is known about their life cycles. They are a particularly shy species of bird, so while remnants of their behavior, such as their delicate nests, have been found and studied, very few have actually been witnessed over long periods in the wild. Number 3. Hoopo This incredible-looking bird is known as a hoopo, and it's a species that's found across Africa, Asia, and Europe. There are actually three very close related species of hoopo that are so similar that they were originally all believed to be the same, and still the main distinction is the particular regions where they live. Growing to around 11 and a half inches long, they're similar in size and weight to an American robin, but their coloration is, of course, very different. They're covered in pale brownish red, almost pinkish feathers with a darker coloration on their heads and wings and have unusually strong muscles in their mouths that along with their long beaks allow them to burrow into the ground and open up their mouths in search of insects. There's a lot that's unusual about the hoopoe, but the most surprising aspect is when you see them fly. Because of the way that their wings half close at the end of each beat, they move erratically through the air almost in a similar way to how you'd expect to see a large butterfly move. Number 2. Grey-Crowned Crane Also known by a variety of different names, such as the African Crane and the Golden Crested Crane, the Grey-Crowned Crane is a species that's found across the eastern and southern countries of Africa and is so prolific in Uganda that it's the country's national bird. Growing to just over 3 feet tall with a wingspan of 6.5 feet, they're mainly grey in color but have white wings, white, black, and red faces, and a stunning plume of golden feathers that make up their crown. The combination of all of these colors creates something truly spectacular whether you see them from a distance or from close up, and it's no wonder that their presence has historically been seen as a sign of good luck. Grey-crowned cranes live in dry savannas and wetlands and will usually simply adapt to the surroundings they happen to find themselves in. They have long hind toes that can be used to grasp, which means that they're just one of two species of crane that are able to perch in trees. And it's quite normal to find them in large flocks that can number between 30 to 150 individuals. Seeing a large gathering of them is impressive at any time, but becomes something truly special during the breeding season. During that time, they'll all start a courtship display that involves dancing, bowing, and jumping, which along with their booming calls is one of the most memorable sights in the animal kingdom. Number 1. Cotinga Found across Central America and the tropical regions of South America, there are seven species of Cotinga, which are brightly colored fruit-eating birds. Depending on their location and habitat, each species has developed its own unique colorations and behaviors, although they're usually a variation of mainly blue with a few complementary colors. Usually growing to around 8.5 inches long, it's the males that take on the vibrant colors, whereas the females are normally dull brown, which suggests that the colors are mainly related to the way that they choose their mates. Amazingly, the blue color that you see isn't actually due to pigment, but is instead created by the presence of small air bubbles that are trapped within the feathers and scatter light that bounces off of them. In a further surprise, Cotingas aren't exactly quiet and subtle when they fly, as the males make a distinct whistling or rattling noise as they soar through the sky. It's extremely rare to ever see a Cotinga near the ground, and they instead keep to the top of the forest canopy where they'll perch at a vantage point so they can watch out for any predators and quickly swoop in and feed on fruit whenever they need. It is perhaps unsurprising because of their vivid appearance. Cotingas have historically been trapped for their feathers, and this has led to serious concerns for their long-term survival. When the effect caused by hunters is added to that of deforestation, there are already four of the seven under a threatened or endangered classification, and the others aren't far behind them. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.